Just want to give a heads up to everyone that started watching this video. Uh, this is more of a podcast. This is not a tip video. As you can see, it's over an hour long. If you're looking for a tip, your best option is just to back out right now. This is really for the hardcore league guys out there. I just figured I'd do a video. If you're just sitting around, you know, maybe reading the paper in the morning or you got time at work where you're able to just kind of put the headphones on and listen. Uh, for you hardcore league guys out there trying to figure out what the best team is to start your online franchise with. Like I said, if you're looking for a tip video, just check the channel. we got a lot of tip videos for Madden 25 on current gen, next gen, last gen, whatever the heck you want to call them. But like I said, this is over an hour long. I'm just doing a lot of talking for all you league guys out there. If you're not a league guy, this is not for you, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy. What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do a video for all you league guys out there. I've been playing leagues my whole life. It's easily my favorite aspect of playing Madden. We really don't cover it enough on the channel here because like I said, that's the one thing that I love to do the most. So I'm going to try to cover it a little bit more if I can. But today I thought I'd go over something really nice for you guys. Um, you know, finding a good league is tough to do, uh, especially on next gen since it's so new. But I found myself a really nice league on the PlayStation 4 flying under the radar there nobody really knows who i am and i'm having a lot of fun it advances every other day got 32 people always it's really awesome so um you know one of the biggest decisions that we have to make is what team are we going to use you know unfortunately not everyone is like myself they're not hardcore league guys so you're going to run into a lot of guys that say they're committed but they know they're only going to join for a couple of years and so to them team choice isn't really that big a deal but if you're like me you want to select a nice team that you can build upon, a nice young team with good players. Or if you just want to take, you know, an absolute terrible team and see if you can build it, that can also be fun. But today, we're going to focus on my favorite teams that we can start a connected franchise with. The only teams we're not going to cover are San Francisco and Seattle. I cannot stand people that use those teams. I'm so just annoyed by that, especially because anytime. I try to play a game to test some stuff out on next gen and I play guys that I know. They're always trying to use the Niners and the Seahawks and honestly, it's so lame to me. Not even going to bother. That's another story altogether. So, I've got six teams that I really like and we're going to get to that right now. So, I initially was going to do my top five teams and then I found that there were really six teams that I really liked. The only problem was I couldn't really decipher which one was better. It really depends on the player. So I'm actually just going to go in alphabetical order my six favorite teams to start a franchise with. None necessarily better than the other, but some teams that I really like. Um, the first team we're going to look at is the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, a lot of people really don't like Andy Dalton and Josh Johnson. You know, he's a 27-year-old quarterback. You could definitely work with him. We have to think about progression. You know, we can play a season or two, progress our players really nice and be in a good situation. So we're looking at age, of course. So at quarterback, it's okay. It's not necessarily the greatest thing. we got 21-year-old Giovanni Bernard. I mean, you can't really say more about this guy. Really, really nice. Nice acceleration. Uh, I find that really small guys are really great to run the ball with, and he's five foot eight. Um, so we've got a nice franchise running back. Again, we can upgrade all the areas that he lacks in in just a season or two. Uh, he's going to be in the 90s rated. Um, fullback, eh, not necessarily that great. But, of course, we got A.J. Green, 25 years old. Absolute monster in this game. Don't even need to talk about him. Marvin Jones, a six foot two, 81 overall. Even though we both know overall doesn't really mean anything, I'll mention it just because, uh, you know, got really nice speed you know it's like six foot two he's he's a good receiver these two guys are definitely people that you can work around and brandon tate six foot one 95 speed so the receiving core obviously aj green is an absolute monster and it's serviceable there's nothing that's too bad here you can definitely work with that tight end you got gresham and eifert i mean you know two six foot five guys 250 260 pounds they're in the 80 speed range also in the 80 acceleration range. Just, you know, um, two really good tight ends. And the other thing that I like is they have a couple gems on the offensive line. Uh, you know, here a 27-year-old, 80 overall, tackle with 90 strength. It's okay. Uh, but, you know, and then we've got Whitworth. He could definitely last a few years. 
Then we've got Trevor Robinson, a six foot five, three hundred five pound center. He's only twenty three years old at seventy six overall, and he's got that ninety strength. That's really the one thing on the offensive line. You got to be in the ninety strength. This guy is an absolute animal. Twenty three years old, eighty seven overall. He's got ninety one strength, six foot four, three hundred fifteen pounds. He's got good numbers, and again, like I said, the more progression, the better you're going to be. And Andre Smith, of course. Not going to forget about him. So the right side of our line is really, really nice. Um, you know, we've got a nice young center that we can plug in here. Maybe we could trade away Kyle Cook. Uh, you know, Whitworth is a monster. He just happens to be 31 years old. So we're looking really good there on the offensive line. Then we get into the meat and potatoes of this team. And we've got Carlos Dunlap and Marcus Hunt are just two animals. I mean, pretty much the same player. Uh, again, overall doesn't mean anything. One's 90 overall. The other one is 69 overall. But we're going to look at ratings like speed. We're going to look at height and weight. 6'8", 277 pounds. 6'6", 289 pounds. 84 and 85 speed. 88 strength here for this guy. 81. we got the 88 acceleration. I mean, you know, the awareness isn't, I mean, especially on defensive end, it really doesn't mean that much. Um... You know, really, they're identical guys. Just one happens to be 90 overall. The other is a 69, but both animals in this game. Michael Johnson, again, six foot seven, 267 pounds. So we don't even have a defensive end on our team that we're going to be using that is less than six foot seven. That's pretty crazy. This guy's 26 years old. Like I said, 24 and 26 years old for these two guys. Uh, you know, we can put one at linebacker. Or we could trade one away and get a really great player in another position. Maybe we could trade for a quarterback. We could trade for just another area that we really need. Defensive tackle, 25-year-old Geno Atkins, 91 strength, 97 overall. And Pecco is, is, you know, he's 28, but he's definitely uh, pretty decent. I don't mind this guy, Thompson, here. He's not six foot two at DT. Not really my favorite, but again... Um, you know, he's not bad if you want to make a trade or something like that. Then we've got Harrison. You know, he's a good linebacker. Of course, he's got the nice hit power and everything, but he's about to retire, so that's not anything. Malaluga's got, like, the 95 hit power. He's just on that verge of a guy that I like to use, 80 speed, 85 acceleration. It's not necessarily the greatest in the world, but he does play good in the game. And sometimes they're just players that are like that. They just, you know, they play good. Vontez perfect. So like I said, you know, he's 22 years old. He's an 84 overall. He's only got the 76 speed, but an 85 acceleration. He's got that crazy hit power. Um, he's 248 pounds. So linebackers aren't necessarily the greatest. Like I said, we're looking at two guys here that don't necessarily have the speed, but they just play good in the game. So that's where, you know, trading one of these defensive ends for a linebacker can really come into play. Now, our defensive line, if we do that, with our linebackers is just going to be crazy, crazy good because we know perfect, 22 years old, already 84 overall, uh, and you know Malaluga. That's hit power all day. Great off, a great defensive line with the DTs and defensive ends. Here on the cornerbacks, it's it's a little bit more rough. Uh, you know, 28 year old Leon Hall, it's getting a little bit older. As you see, 34, 29. I like Dre Kirkpatrick. I mean, he's six foot two, 89 speed, 87 acceleration. Nothing that's through the roof, but he's not bad. I actually, you know, I'm finding myself that I'm playing that actually play pretty good in the game. And I think, you know, it's not like that with a lot of different teams. Uh, but the Bengals, for whatever reason, I mean, this guy doesn't have those type of numbers that I'm always looking for, but he plays pretty nice. Um, Brandon Gee. You know, we got a 97 speed, 58 overall uh, corner. I just, you know, I'm, I've got Joe Hayden in my one league that I'm in on the Cleveland Browns, and I love being that team. Uh, and he's young, and it, I love a great corner. But at the same time, you know, to me, corners with, with speed. That's all, like, height and speed. That's all you really need. That's all you really ever needed, especially this day and age in the game. And then Reggie Nelson's 30 years old. We don't really have too much here. We've got Sean Williams at 91 speed, but only 86 XL. We're kind of lacking there. But then we've got Taylor Mays. I mean, this guy, 
is unbelievable. Uh, he's been one of the best safeties in the game for a long time just because he is six foot three. He's only a 73 overall, but he's got that 93 speed, 90 acceleration. He's got the jump. Um, so, yeah, that's the first team in my list, the Cincinnati Bengals. They're a great team, a great young team to start your online franchise with. The second team we're going to look at in our top six teams to be when starting an online franchise are the Cleveland Browns. And the reason we're going to be the Cleveland Browns is because not only do they have a pretty nice young team, but the players that they have at certain positions are not only really young, but the best young players at their position. We're going to get to that in a second. Quarterback is an absolute nightmare. You're going to need to either trade for a quarterback or draft one. Nothing there. We have nothing there. McGahee, uh, Lewis, terrible options. Baker, terrible option. I did use Fozzie Whitaker in my first season in this league. He's 92 speed, 92 excel. He averaged about six yards a carry. There's nothing special about him whatsoever, but he did get the job done. So, you know, if you're starting a league and you're really trying to make a trade and maybe it's not working out for you, he definitely uh, can be a guy that you can use. And actually, Willis McGahee did a really nice job too, even though, I don't know, I don't know how I did. Maybe it was just the run plays I was using. Obviously, with 84 speed and 86 acceleration, that was terrible. Uh, he ended up retiring for me, uh, even though I did have really nice numbers with him. Um, fullback, whatever. Josh Gordon. I mean, at 22 years old, he's the highest rated, youngest player in the game. There's nobody higher rated than Josh Gordon in the game for a 22-year-old. He's tied with Luke Keekley for all you guys that got upset that I pronounced his name wrong in the last video. Uh, so we got Josh Gordon. You can definitely start around him. 69 overall, Travis Benjamin. 98 speed, 96 acceleration. Uh, you know, two wide receivers right there that you can start off with. Greg Little, you know, he's he's serviceable. They, they don't have the greatest receivers in the world. But, you know, as long as you have two guys to start out with, you're okay. And we definitely do. Josh Gordon, never trade him. That is just one guy you don't want to trade. Then again, like I said, we got some of the best young players at their position in the entire game. 25-year-old Jordan Cameron at tight end. He's an 88 overall. He's got 84 speed, 88 acceleration. He's got a lot of great numbers. Six foot five. Guy's a beast. Offensive line. Now, with Joe Thomas being 28 years old, I mean, that can count against us, but it can be not bad. Let's just say we plan to play six seasons, maybe seven seasons. He could be our starting left tackle the entire way. He's 28 years old. A lot of the offensive linemen will play till they're about 35, 36 without their numbers declining, so not bad at all. I really like Reed Fraggle, 6'7", 308 pounds, 22 years old, 91 strength. So you can start Thomas or Fraggle at a different position, but you know just kind of progress him as time goes on. Don't forget that if you're blowing somebody out in a game, always sub in your backups when playing in an online franchise or connected franchise because... You're going to get progression. You're going to get more XP to put on your guys. It's not a bad move whatsoever, especially a guy like Joe Thomas. I mean, what are you really going to do to him, right? You're not really going to progress him that much, so it doesn't hurt you at all if you're up by about 21 points in the third quarter to just pause and make a switch. It does not hurt you whatsoever. Um, you know, Pinkston, he's not bad. Alex Mack is one of the better centers in the game. 91 strength, 6'4", uh, 92 overall, and he's only 27 years old. Yeah, you know, serviceable. And then Mitchell Schwartz, not necessarily the greatest. You could work on that strength, but I do like the 6'5", 317. So offensive line, definitely we got Thomas Fraggle uh, and Mack right out of the gate. Anytime you can get three good offensive linemen, you're definitely good. Defensive ends are a little weak in a sense. Depends what you like. Some guys love the really strong guys that are just going to kind of bust through. I happen to like speed because, you know, I find that the speed guys will get through when they get through. And I love to drop defensive ends into coverage. You know, put them in a flat zone, put them in a purple zone. So I love that speed. Here we got a 59 speed Ruben. So for me, not necessarily my kind of guy. But if you love strength, we're looking at six foot two, 330. 94 strength for a defensive end. So that can definitely suit your scheme. 
Same goes with Bryant. He's got 87 strength, 6'5", 290 pounds for a defensive end. At DT, Phil Taylor uh, actually played. He just had three sacks for me in the last game, just bull rushing, just getting right by guys. He's 25 years old, 84 overall. Um, here at linebacker, we got Paul Kruger. He's 27 years old. This guy is definitely a guy that can kind of run the course until maybe you draft. I love drafting linebackers. I love trading for linebackers. You know, because if you play a 3-4, that's four of your defensive players right there that you're really going to have to. And you could put linebackers at defensive end if you play the 4-3. I just find that linebackers are the most important part of your team, especially when it comes to hit power, speed, getting to the edge, making plays. Uh, they're just the most important part to me. So this guy's definitely serviceable at 78 speed and 85 excel. He's 6'4", 265. You can see so far at 265, uh, you know, we've got a lot of size on the defensive line. Middle linebackers, nothing special. Uh, Dequel Jackson is serviceable. This guy, Craig Robert Robertson, is not bad at 84 speed, 87 excel. I think his hit power is really weak. It's 78. I mean, it's not terrible. But the part that we really like is right here, and that's Mingo and Hazel. I mean, Hazel is a 56 overall. Who cares? Six foot five linebacker, 227 pounds. He's 23 years old. Lots of room for improvement, right? At 56 overall, he's got 85 speed and 89 acceleration. And then that hit power comes in at only a 74, which, again, at 59 overall, we can we can definitely get that up with XP pretty easy. He's a rookie. Mingo's only got the 78 hit power. But this guy is one of the best linebackers in the game. At 22 years old, he's got 87 speed and 94 acceleration. He is also 6'4", 241 pounds. That is unbelievable size all around. Linebackers, defensive ends. Uh, defensive tackles aren't necessarily huge, but that's just a lot of size. Even Jabal Shirt, I'm actually trying to trade him in my league. Um, he does only have 81 speed and 87 excel, but... I mean, hey, that's not too bad. 255 linebacker. Um, he's also 24 years old. He's serviceable. I wouldn't say that he's anything super special. Um, from what I know about, I've been getting offers. I know a lot of people like him in the league. But for me, I don't find him to be anything special. Definitely tradable. Then, of course, we got Joe Hayden, 24 years old, 95 overall. This guy is absolutely shut down, even though he's already dropped four picks in two games for me. Uh, in my league this year. Last year, I don't even remember him getting an interception for me. Uh, he tipped a lot of passes, made some plays on the ball, but he's not really catching. I don't really know. To me, it's all about speed. He's got 91 speed, 96 acceleration. That's a guy I would love to trade because I think for a lot of people, anytime I'm in a fantasy draft, people go corner, 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 corner. And I haven't really figured out in this next gen yet whether you know, corners, ratings, and all that stuff really matter. We all know that they play man-to-man -man defense a lot better, but is it that everybody plays man-to-man -man defense better, or is it just the top guys that are doing that? Is it just the speed? Haven't really figured that out because it's kind of new, you know. We're not used to I mean, they definitely do play really well, zone coverage, man coverage especially. Um so still trying to figure that out. I would love to trade Joe Hayden and get something really nice, especially like a quarterback. Um, I've just picked up a fast quarterback. I'm, I'm kind of waiting till the next draft. We didn't really have a good draft for quarterback this year. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. I'd love to trade Hayden for, for just a stud quarterback. Uh, Buster Scrine, 96 speed. And he's got 93 excel. He's only 24 years old. I like these, you know, I mean, they're not necessarily tall. They don't have a ton of speed. I mean, I like scrying speed, but, um, you know, just average. Then we've got a serviceable, I don't even know how to say this guy's name, Bad Mosi or whatever. He's six foot, 91 speed, 90 excel. That's definitely serviceable until you get in the draft. Uh, to me, I don't really care about high rated safeties. Of course, you love hit power at the strong safety. I just love speed. Speed and height so we can get up and jump 
for those uh, you know deep balls and try to out jump the receiver if we can. But to me, you can use bombs. You can use 50 overall guys that are six foot three and 95 speed. But then TJ Ward, on the other hand, he's got a ton of hit power, like 95, 96 hit power. He's 91 overall, only 26 years old. Unfortunately, he's only got the 86 speed and 87 acceleration. So what I like to do is, you know, find a way that I can get a really good safety that I can use, or like I said, that 95 speed. What I'm going to do a lot of times is I'm, you know, depending on who I can pick up, is I'll, you know, first season, I'll pick up a corner that's got a lot of speed, maybe like a 5'11", 95 speed corner, and put him at the free safety position, and then just let TJ Ward kind of roam and do his thing by the CPU, let him get those CPU hit sticks and stuff like that. So there we go, uh, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, consider this a podcast, by the way. You know, it's really funny because when I started this video, I had planned on, I was like, oh, well, maybe I could just do a two-minute video. I'll just go real quick and I'll just say, here's my top teams that we can use in CFM. But at the end of the day, man, I just can't do that. I can't rip you guys off. i got to talk about the team. got to explain why it is that I like them and, you know, the attributes that I like and stuff like that. So if you're sitting at work or if you're just kind of doing something, you don't even need to watch the video. You can just listen, enjoy. And now we're going to go on to the third team that I love to be to start a connected career. So I just realized as I finished up that last video that I've actually called this online franchise, connected franchise, connected career, online league. So I've pretty much covered all the basis as to what we can call uh, a league. They change the name, it seems, every year. So uh, kind of confusing. Yeah. So I just realized at the end. So I just realized at the end of that video that I've pretty much called a connected franchise everything you possibly can. An online league, online franchise, connected franchise, connected career. We've got all the bases covered. It seems like they change the name of it every year, so it's really confusing. Now before we get into our third team, I actually just want to give a shout out to the Jets. Initially I was going to put this team on my list, but I never ended up doing so. And the reason I wanted to is just because their defensive line has to be the best in the game especially when it comes to age size i mean this is just unbelievable check this out left end we've got muhammad wilkerson 93 overall 23 years old he's 315 pounds with 94 strength at left end then we've got 22 year old sheldon richardson 88 overall 294 pounds 88 strength defensive end and then Damon Harrison, 339 pound, 24 years old, 87 overall, 91 strength. And Kenrick Ellis, 6'5", 330. He's not quite a Damon Harrison, but he's got the 93 strength. He's got really good size. Like, he's two inches taller, uh, you know, than Harrison. He's only 25 years old. This has to be the best defensive line in the game. Just unbelievable. I was going to put them on the list initially because of demario davis as well 24 years old he's got the 87 speed and the 92 acceleration i think he's got nice hit power i can't remember he's got the 87 hit power uh they got geno smith they got stephen hill but the rest of the team really 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 suffers so i didn't put them on the list um so another thing is there was actually a team that i was going to put on the list as well i said i had six teams but I don't. I was just about to kind of do the video for them, and I realized, you know what? This team isn't even that good. I'm not even going to mention what team it is. We're just going to skip it. The next team we're going to look at is the Oakland Raiders. I mean, Terrell Pryor is essentially RG3 even better. If we're talking about connected franchise here, we're talking about a six foot six quarterback that is faster than RG3. He's got 91 speed, 91 agility, 90 acceleration, uh, you know, work on that throw power and throw accuracy in the different areas. I mean, he's already got 92. Here he's, you know, he's got some accuracy in the 70s. Before long, this guy's going to be a 99 overall. If you're a decent player, he's going to be a 99 overall by season three. Or close to it, he's going to be a 99 overall. And with all that speed, you cannot go wrong. This is definitely the best quarterback. I mean, him and RG3... 
um, are two great quarterbacks that you want to start your connected franchise with. But the fact that the Raiders have players to back it up make them the third team we're going to look at. Darren McFadden is still only 26 years old. I mean, I've been using this guy forever in leagues. It just seems like because he came in the league when he was 21 years old, it just seems like he's been in Madden forever. Uh, you know, only an 85 overall, but who cares? Six foot two, which is great. We can put him at wide receiver. 96 speed. I always wondered about this agility. Man, that 85 agility, agility kind of sucks and blah, blah, blah. It really doesn't even make a difference when using McFadden. He's now down to 92 Excel, but still gets the job done, man. One of the best running backs in the game, easily. And then we've got uh, Murray, Latavius Murray. He's six foot three, 224 pounds. He's only 22. He's got 93 speed, 87 acceleration. Um, you know, I mean, the 93 speed looks good. The rest kind of is average, but he plays really well in the game. Fullback, best in the game, 20 years old, 94 overall, 90 speed fullback. You can't get any better than that. You won't get any better than that. He's just the best. Then we've got, you know, a really solid wide receiver core. Look at the age of these guys. I mean, you don't have anybody over 26 years old. Now, we're not busting through with ratings. We don't have a ton of size. we got six foot. Six three is really nice with 91 speed. Um... Jacoby Ford's kind of small, but he's a great kick returner, one of the better ones in the game, so you've got that area covered. He's got a ton of speed. Andre Holmes at 6'5", definitely a guy that you can work on. We're talking about a league here, right? So you've got 6'5", you've got the speed covered. He's only 25 years old. It's not like he's a 50-something rated. This guy's a 73 overall rated, so you know that the more you progress him, this guy's going to be a beast down the road. You know, just kind of get some of the catch and traffic numbers up, the catch rating up, the route running. This guy's going to be tough, tough, tough to deal with. Uh, this guy's not really, you're not going to do anything with this guy. You love the height, but that's not going to get you anything. Bryce Butler. I mean, I use this guy in Madden 25 on last gen. And, he, I mean, six foot three, 94 speed with 90 XL. He was definitely getting the job done. 23 over uh sorry 23 years old greg jenkins not going to do anything but i mean look at this andre holmes and bryce butler uh you know just progress them we've got a kick returner just a great wide receiver core we don't have like superstars yet but with the age and everything uh, you're going to be looking really good at wide receiver for a long time osbury isn't necessarily the best tight end um He's 73 overall. He drops some balls and stuff like that. But he's got that 86 speed. He's got the 82 acceleration. You got to get over 80. You know, if you're a, a tight end, for me, you got to be over 80. And he is six foot four. Um, you know, I mean, Rivera's a pretty good blocker. Nothing to write home about at tight end. But it's good to know that we at least have a 6'4", 86 speed tight end. Then on offensive line, this is where it really gets nice, too, with the Raiders. Uh, Veld here is like 26 years old. He's got he's 88 overall with 96 strength, and he's six foot eight. I love that. I love really tall offensive linemen with a lot of strength. Um, then we go to you know I don't know if we could really do anything. I didn't really look too much into this guy, but uh, he does have 93 strength, and he is a rookie at 22, but he is only six foot two, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, Wisniewski, I mean, the guy's 24 years old, 86 strength. Just Let's just bump that up maybe four notches if we can, if we can improve this guy with some XP. I know it can be expensive, but if we can just cure that one area with this guy, we can do a lot of damage. Uh, we can be set on the offensive line for a long time. 30-year-old right guard and a right tackle. Uh, you know, we like the height and everything, but really nothing to do there. But... You know, again, three solid guys on the offensive line. Not too bad at all. Then we've got Jason Hunter. Nothing really there. Nothing there on that. I mean, Lamar Houston is good. He's not my type of defensive end, but I see a lot of people do damage with this guy in the run game. He's just a big, strong defensive end. It's not my style, but he is 26 years old. He's got 89 overall. You know, he's got the 88 strength. It's just the 74 speed. Uh, doesn't really do it for me, 
but you know again that's just me right pat sims is 28 but i do like him you're definitely going to need to draft a defensive tackle I, I don't really like the size or the strength of any of those guys um oops we're we're young here at left outside linebacker two guys that are 23 overall they do reach that 80 speed we got 83 speed with 88 excel um you know it's not bad but it's it's nothing to write home about but it can definitely work then we've got nick roach again you know he's 28 so you're not going to do much there so you know we just went through two linebacker spots that aren't anything special and now we're going to go through our third linebacker spot which isn't going to be anything special so you're probably wondering well, you said you love linebackers, so why are you picking the Raiders as one of the best teams to be? Well, even though I love linebackers, again, just like wide receivers, they are one of the easiest positions to draft for. You can just go with speed. You really don't even need anything else, to be honest with you. You want speed and hit power. And you can get guys, you know, with an 80 hit power and like 90 acceleration, 85 speed, no problem. I always do that in drafts. Um... So, yeah, we're weak at linebacker, but it's the fact that we've got, you know, really good offensive line. We've got the best quarterback in the game with RG3 to start your, your career with. You've got a 26-year-old McFadden, the best fullback in the game, a really strong wide receiver core, three uh, offensive linemen that we can go with. Um, you know, like I said, the right end, Houston, isn't my favorite, and we need some DTs. But Pat Sims is only 28, and then the line the linebackers are kind of useless. But, I mean, we're looking pretty good, I think, so far. I, I definitely I like this team. It's the strength of that offense with the quarterback, the running back, and the wide receivers and the offensive line that, you know, sometimes you have to choose, right? You have to decide, okay, well, do I want to be a team that's got really great defensive players or do I want to be a team that's got really great offensive players? And if you love offense, this is definitely the team that you want to be um cornerback i mean we're not i mean we're looking pretty good as far as age goes you know jenkins is getting a little bit up there uh, i've always liked tracy porter in this game always always liked him 93 speed he's only 27 i mean that's not terrible then we've got nice speed all the way down the line we're at 90 with everybody they're 23 24 25 their ratings are low but like i said i mean it's about speed, right? We've got Taiwan Jones, 97 speed, 95 excel, 6 foot, you know, really like that. So definitely serviceable corners. You can get the job done. You know, just trade away your corners, man. I just think that they're they're overvalued in, in Madden. You know, unless on next gen we're talking about... Um, you know, maybe the better players really play lockdown defense because the man coverage and the zone coverage is better. But at the same time, I just probably think, considering that it's Madden, it's probably just all about speed again. It really probably is. Uh, height and speed, that's all you need. Don't worry about anything else. Don't even worry about man coverage and zone coverage. Forget it. Forget it. I mean, I've played in so many leagues and had so much success with Carlos Rogers as my one guy that can press. And then... Everything else is just kind of out the window. I just speed and height. It's all I care about. These guys can definitely get the job done. Free safety. Uh, Usama Young is six foot. He's ninety speed with eighty eight excel. Uh, you know he's serviceable. But Tavon Branch. I mean this guy's only twenty six. He's six foot, ninety five speed with ninety excel. We can easily get the job done with him. Brandon Ross, not too bad either. You know. Um, so they, they have a good, strong safety. They have good corners. Their linebackers are terrible. Their DTs are terrible. And uh, the right end is good. It's just not my preference. It's all about the offense when it comes to the Raiders. I mean, surprise, surprise, right? But um, I just love what they have to offer. And, you know, if you're not really anyone that cares about a fullback, I can easily see people going, like, who cares about a fullback? You can get a lot from Marcel Race. There's a lot of people that are in love with this guy. I think he's a great player. Um, you can definitely trade him. It's about trade value. Never, <clears throat> sorry, I, I apologize. Never trade Terrell Pryor. You know, one of my things that I always say is like, you know, let's just say you don't even like to run with your quarterback. And you're like, well, I don't need a running quarterback. I can whatever. 
don't let somebody, especially in your conference, okay, don't let somebody that likes to run with the quarterback get Terrell Pryor. That is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to leagues, okay? People think, oh, well, I don't need that guy, so I'll just trade him whatever, and then I'll get something that I really like. You're going to be a lot better off keeping that guy. If you don't run with him, then don't run with him. He's six foot six and he's got 92 throw power. You can work with him. If you're going to use another young quarterback that maybe isn't fast, just disregard his speed. And then if you need to take off, take off. But whatever you do, do not trade this guy to somebody that is going to run all over you. Because they will. They're going to run all over you if you give them Terrell Pryor. And if you don't let him run all over you, then he's just going to pass all over you. Because Terrell Pryor's definitely got what it takes at 24 years old and six foot six. This is a this is a league. This isn't just uh, you know rank games or something like that. He's going to progress him, and Pryor is going to progress pretty well. You, you, you're gonna you're gonna regret that move. Never trade Terrell Pryor. And if you've ever traded Terrell Pryor in a league, I want you to leave a comment. Uh, don't even lie to me. It's the worst move you ever made unless you traded him to somebody that you knew sucked. Okay, just never trade this guy. We're going to go on to what? We're going to look at one, two, three. We're going to go on to the fourth team in our top five list. Now we're going to take a look at one of my favorite teams to start a connective franchise with, which is the St. Louis Rams. You can definitely tell what Jeff Fisher was thinking when he decided to take this team over as the head coach. They are just young across the board at literally every position, which is a great thing. Now, obviously, early on, we're talking about the you know the progress of Sam Bradford. He had a great rookie campaign, played lights out. Everyone thought he was going to be great, including me. His last two years have not been very good, and I think one of the big reasons for that is, as great as coaching is, you know, you know, good coaching is very very underrated. Uh, a good offensive coordinator can be all the difference in the world for a quarterback. It really can. You know, it can make a bad quarterback good. It can make a good quarterback bad. But for Sam Bradford, all that stuff aside, is that they don't really have anybody like a mentor on the field to really teach the wide receivers, you know, during the course of the game, get to the sideline, kind of talk about what you did right, what you did wrong, practice on the field together. They're just so young everywhere that I think that's one thing that they're missing. So once you see them kind of develop a little bit more, Sam Bradford's going to get back to that rookie form. I really like him as a quarterback. I know a lot of people are hating on him right now. In Madden, he's a six foot four. He's only got 73 speed. I know a lot of guys love speed at quarterback, but you don't always need that. If you're just looking for a guy that's going to be good for you in your connective franchise, 84 overall, he's still only 25 years old. This is definitely a guy that you can go with, without a doubt. Then we've got Zach Stacy. I mean, this guy's a rookie, 22 years old. Just look at the ages of these guys all the way across the board. Um, this guy is just, he's a bruiser. 5'8", 216 pounds. He's only 87 speed, which you would expect from a bruiser, but he's got that nice 92 acceleration. Um, definitely a guy, I like speed backs, but if you love guys that just fall forward every time, Zach Stacy is one of your guys. Then we've got... Two 23-year-olds, you know, Richardson and Pede, which you can kind of go across the ratings and see which one you want to develop. You know, they're very close in ratings, close in height and size, uh, age. You know, their speed is very similar. But then you go across and you see, okay, one's got great elusiveness at 92. The other one's got a great spin move at 91, juke move at 94. And then you get a little further here. You know, this guy's a better catcher. Uh, you know, jumping, I'm not sure how much of a deal that is for a wide receiver. Um, but you just go across the board, maybe you kind of look at injury rating, stamina, see like Richardson had the nod in a couple areas, but Pete's got that stamina, right? Which you can upgrade. But anyway, the point is, is that they've got two young guys that are serviceable. You know, Zach Stacey is going to bruise them. And if you want to, you know, run a toss or a sweep with a little extra speed now and then, or if Stacy gets tired, these guys are definitely going to be able to do the job for you. Um, I wouldn't say that they're trade bait by any means. They're they're not monsters, but still very good. I like Richardson a lot. Fullback guy's terrible. Won't even talk about that. 
wide receivers again. I mean, just look at the age column. I mean, everywhere you go on this team, man, age. And like I said, that's one of the biggest reasons why Bradford struggled in the NFL. You know, he just doesn't have that on-the-field mentor for not just himself. Like, I mean, let's look at his backup quarterbacks. Like, who's who's teaching him? You know, who's helping him on field? Yeah, he's a three-year veteran now, but it's still nice to kind of have somebody that knows a little bit. And Kellen Clemens, he sucks. And he doesn't. He's not. He's not like he's a great football mind. You know, there's been a lot of quarterbacks out there, like a Doug Peterson, who was always he's a career backup, but he had a great football mind. None of these guys have that. That's going to be an issue for him. The running backs, they're all super young. Wide receivers, they're all super young. They don't really have that mentor on field. You're going to see the ratings of these teams in Madden uh, go up a little bit once they start to kind of understand the game a little bit better. Sam Bradford's going to be an animal. And Tavon Austin got a ton of speed, 96 speed, 97 acceleration. He's only 5'8". We got Chris Givens. He's 6 foot, a ton of speed, 96, 94 acceleration. So we've got two speedy guys that can do more than get the job done for us. And then we've got Quick. Unfortunately, he's only a 72 overall. You know, he's only played one season. You kind of thought, like, you know, this guy's really good. Um, and they had Amendola or whatever, but I would have assumed that this guy, at least in, you know, Madden Rainers are kind of irrelevant, but it does give you an idea. I would have thought this guy would be an 84 or 85 by now, uh, but in Madden, he's still great. Six foot three, 87 speed. Uh, he's got 90 XL, which is pretty good. When I play ranked games or whatever kind of games with this guy, he definitely does a lot of damage. You've got three great wide receivers with the St. Louis Rams. Your offense overall is extremely young and very, very good. We haven't even talked about the fact that Jared Cook is six foot five. He's an 85 overall, 26 year old, so still got a lot of years left in him. 90 speed with 88 acceleration tight end. Another guy where it feels like I've been using this guy in Madden forever, and he's only 26 years old. I mean, you, this offense, man, young and great love this offense then we haven't even talked about the left tackle the most important position on the offensive line you know these guys play till they're about 36 you know their ratings aren't really going to go down too much so for the duration of your connected career you're looking at jake long on the left side so you're set 93 overall doesn't really get much better than jake long he's a great offensive line the rest of the offensive line isn't that great i love strength and I love a lot of other things. These guys, a little bit older, but uh, there's really nothing good here. I mean, just really nothing across the board. This guy's 32 years old. Um, you know, I don't, I don't mind these guys here. Uh, Salford and Barksdale, they're not too bad. You just need to up that strength a little bit more, and then you'll be okay. But, you know, they definitely need to have some work done. Uh, on your offensive line other than Jake Long, but that's okay. Chris Long is an 88 overall, 28-year-old beast of a defensive end, 276 pounds. He's got 90 strength. Like this guy a lot. He, he's not young like a lot of the other guys, but still, I mean, in your first couple seasons, you're going to be really good on the defensive line because on the other side, you've got Robert Quinn. I said earlier that Joe Hayden and Josh Gordon were the youngest highest rated players in the game well robert quinn is one of those guys at only 23 years old he's already a 96 overall six foot four 264 pounds he's got 84 speed with 95 acceleration and overall ratings don't take into account speed and acceleration so when you look at a guy and you see wow that guy's 96 overall and if that's what you like then you take into account the speed and acceleration now you're you're golden because this guy's still going to be 96 overall if he's 74 speed and 85 acceleration. You just happen to, this guy's just an animal. Robert Quinn, got to like it. Uh, defensive tackle, Brockers is okay. The only problem, again, I love the size, 6'6", 322. Love the fact that he's only 22 years old and already an 82 overall. But unfortunately, it's that strength, right? So when we're... Uh, progressing our players the one and only thing we're going to look at at Brockers is we need to get that strength up 
we get that strength up in a couple years, it's going to be a nice defensive tackle. Um, you might need to get another one if you're going to run a 4-3, but I'm currently running a 3-4 myself. Linebackers, Alec Ogletree, I mean, a rookie, 21 years old. This guy, he's got great ratings, 83 speed and 90 acceleration. We love that. And his hit power is 89 and an 85 tackle, but he plays even better in the game. Like, this guy is just unbelievable. Love that. You're, you're definitely side at left outside linebacker. James Laurinaitis is serviceable. I wouldn't say that he's great, but he's definitely serviceable. Don't like the 76 speed and 85 acceleration, but all of his other numbers are great. Um, well, not great, but they're, again, serviceable, right? So we're going to look at a linebacker down the road to plug up the middle, but Laurinaitis can do the job now, and we're going to have to do the same, unfortunately, um, on the right outside linebacker. Bates is 86 speed and 85 acceleration for a rookie, uh, 22 years old. He's only got the 62 overall rating, but like I said, that doesn't mean that much. Let's take a look at his hit power. I think it's like 85. No, it's 86 hit power. So this guy we could definitely work with. I mean, I'm not going to say that he's going to be an animal based on uh, a lot of his numbers, but we've got the speed. 225 is okay. We've got the hit power. It's definitely something that we can work on. Uh, kind of plug him in the lineup and then go and, and either trade for a linebacker or whatever. Or you could keep him. Like a, He's not terrible. And then, you know, cornerback. I mean, we've got 5'10", 5'10", 6'2". The one tall guy, unfortunately, even though he's only 23 years old, he's only 86 speed. He does have the 92 acceleration, though. Uh, he's usable. I wouldn't say that this is a strength cornerbacks for the St. Louis Rams, but it's, uh, you know, we've got four guys over 90 speed. We've got, you know, some pretty nice acceleration across the board. You know, I mean, for me, it's just like, like I said, I'm, you know, I've, I've went with really terrible corners the life of my career in, in franchise and I've done okay. So these guys are more than serviceable, you know, just play good coverage and and you're good. Uh, now, safety, on the other hand, this is where it gets really, really weak. Um, our only fast guy is 30 years old, and he's only got 85 acceleration. We've got nobody with 90 acceleration at free safety. And then strong safety is kind of weak as well. Our 123-year-old is only got 83 speed. Uh, that's really bad. Cody Davis, though, on the other hand, is six foot two. Uh, 24 years old. He's got 93 speed, only 86 acceleration though. So this is going to be a tough choice. Uh, his hit power is only, I mean, you can't really go with that. You're definitely going to have to draft some safeties. But for the St. Louis Rams, I just love them across the board. I love the age. You're going to be set for a long time with these guys, the offense especially. So yeah, St. Louis Rams are one of my favorite teams to be to start a connected franchise, and we're going to get to the final team. And I think a lot of you guys already know, you can pause it right now and leave a comment, you already know what team it's going to be. Let's put you to the test and see if you can get it. Come on now, don't pretend like you didn't know that the Tennessee Titans weren't going to be on my list for one of my favorite teams to start a connected franchise with. If you've seen my videos over the last couple of years, you know that I absolutely love the Tennessee Titans. I got off them a little bit this year, and the reason is because in ranked games, they get hurt. Like, you will not make it to the second half with Jake Locker. You will not make it to the second half with Chris Johnson, and you will not make it to the second half with Justin Hunter. These guys will just get hurt all the time. Now, the one way I found to get around that, though, is to not run a hurry-up offense. Um, that's what I love to do. I've been running a hurry-up for a long time. But because the Tennessee Titans get hurt when you do that, uh, that's going to be an issue. So if you play in a league where you have rules where you can't really run hurry up, Tennessee Titans are definitely for you. I haven't been the Titans in a connected franchise yet. So based on the way that Madden works, they very well could not even get hurt the same way that they do in a ranked game. So uh, that might not even be an issue for you. But regardless... Injuries aside, the Tennessee Titans have a stacked roster, starting with Jake Locker. 
He's got a rocket arm. He's 25 years old. He's got 83 speed, 86 acceleration. This guy, I mean, he does it all. QB wraps, speed options, read options, uh, Bronco heavy, QB runs, QB powers. I mean, he just does it all. He's a great quarterback. I said last year that he was the best quarterback in the game. I mean, it was a stretch. We all know that RG3 and guys like that are better, but Locker just gets it done, and he's only 25 years old. Chris Johnson, he's 27 years old, so you're going to be looking at maybe three, four years where you're really going to feel comfortable with him. He's got the 99 speed and the 96 acceleration. You can't ask for much better than that. What I would do, I mean, I, I would definitely want to run with Chris Johnson my first year, but if you can somehow trade for, um, you know, a really, really fast running back, either, you know, through the draft, like somebody's got that 99 speed, if that's what you love, like you just love his 99 speed or whatever, and you fear that your franchise is going to go seven or eight years and you're not going to get all you can out of Chris Johnson, you could trade him. I mean, he's only an 86 overall, and he is really all about that speed. Uh, and Chris Johnson's name is going to be great trade bait. Uh, you know, for the first season, you're going to have a nice serviceable backup in Leon Washington. The fullbacks are terrible, so we won't even get into that. Wide receiver is what I really like. They're really young. They're best players. Kendall Wright. 23 years old, he's got 92 speed, 95 acceleration. He's a great wide receiver in the game. Kenny Britt's name has gone down quite a bit. You know, it's like he hasn't really done much in the NFL and he might be off the team and blah, blah, blah. But all that aside, it doesn't matter. He's six foot three. he's 24 years old. He gets it done. He's a great guy to go to in the end zone. If you're going to pass lead streaks against zone, stuff like that. Six. I mean, that's Kenny Britt. You got to like it. He doesn't have a ton of speed, but... You know, for me, sometimes even the tall guys, I don't even want them to have a ton of speed because I just find them easier to control when you're trying to make them user catches. Justin Hunter, I mean, 6 foot 4, 22 years old. He's got the speed, 92 speed with 89 acceleration. So we've got a 22, a 23, and a 24-year-old wide receiver. That's three. I mean, we're looking good. Then we've got, you know, some serviceable guys across the board with Michael Preston, 66 overall, six foot five. If we can progress this guy, just store him on your bench. Don't really worry about him. You don't even necessarily need to use him. But if you're blowing guys out again, you know, put him in as your starting receiver. Try to get him some catches. Try to get him some XP. You can always do these things. He's only 24. We could store this guy on the bench for three seasons if we wanted to, and only bring him in when we're blowing guys out. You know, you have to think about these things when you're playing in a league because they're important. That's the kind of stuff that you need to do. Uh, I mean, we're set for wide receiver, for sure. But if we can progress a six foot five guy that's got some other tools uh, that we can take advantage of and just progress certain areas, we're good. Tight end is a little weak. Delaney Walker, yeah, he's got the speed, but at six foot, not really my type of tight end. Now, here's the thing. Tyson, or sorry, I always call the guy Tyson Thompson, but Taylor Thompson is six foot six. He's 287 pounds. He's 23 years old. He's got 84 speed and 85 acceleration. Love the numbers. Love it. There's one problem. This guy could not catch a cold. He, this guy is so terrible. I don't even know what to say. Now, if we go and we take a look at his catching, it's 69. And we take a look at his catch in traffic, it's 64. Again, th this is the kind of guy, this is an athletic freak at tight end, where if we can just up these ratings a little bit, get out of the 60s at least, just put this up a point, get in the 70s. I always find that that matters in Madden. You know, when once you get into that new, like, digit, you know, you go from 50s to 60s or 60s to 70s, you know, even if it's just one point, it makes a difference. It's like the computer recognizes that you're in that 10-point category and uh, just kind of gives a little bit of boost. 69 and 64 is not good. His route running is 45. I mean, generally for tight ends, route running isn't a huge thing. Um, we need to get some of these numbers up, and he can just be a, a monster. As of right now, though, he drops a lot of balls in ranked games or just, you know, all Madden unranked games. 
you can do a lot of damage with this guy. Just work on him a little bit. Or you can trade him to somebody that's never been to Tennessee Titans before, and they just look at him and they see, oh, my God, this guy's unbelievable. You know, trade him. Trade him and get uh, maybe get another tight end that's very similar that you know catches the ball, that's tall, that's got that speed, or maybe another position that you really want, and then draft a tight end. But uh, just the fact that he's got those attributes, regardless of the fact that he can't catch the ball yet, that still makes him a great commodity for the team and one of the big reasons why we do like the Tennessee Titans. You know, here we're looking at a 92 overall, Michael Roos. I mean, he's 31 years old. That's that's not the greatest for us. But he's got 94 strength, and we can use him for about five years. He's six foot seven, 320 pounds. We like that. We love Levitra, 94 overall. He's 27 years old. We can use him for the life of the of the franchise. I'm not a fan of the six foot two, but we can get around that. Um, Schwenke, love this guy too. 91 strength, six foot three, 314 pounds is pretty good for a center. As you can see here, he's the, you know the heaviest center that we got. So I like the size. I like the strength. And he's only 22. He's a rookie. Here we've got Chance Warmack. 92 strength, 6'2". Again, not really a fan of the 6'2", but he is a rookie. 21 years old, and he's already an 80 overall. Our offensive line is looking really nice. And then again, for another five years, we've got 6'7", David Stewart. So on both of the tackles, we've got size. Two guys that are 6'7". We've got strength all the way across the board. The offensive line is a great piece to this team. So far, I mean, we're looking really good on this team. Then we've got 24-year-old Derek Morgan. Not my kind of left end, like I said. I mean, he's 278 pounds, which isn't, like, overly big. And he doesn't really have the speed or anything like that. But he does an okay job. You know, he's serviceable. Um, here, we again, we don't really have much, but we do have... I cannot remember how to say his name. And after you guys raked me over the coals, over the Luke Kukli Keekly thing, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, you know, he's six foot eight though, and he's got 89 strength. So we're definitely going to put him over top uh, of Klug or Klug or whatever the heck. Definitely can't pronounce the bum's name sometimes because you don't really hear it too often. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not really a fan of of the backup tight end, uh, defensive tackles here. But Jarrell Casey, 23 years old, 90 strength. Uh, again, not a fan of the six foot one, but you know sometimes overall ratings kind of you know play into it a little bit. And this guy at only 23 years old, I mean he's an animal. And if you don't really like his six foot one, you could easily trade this guy. They're going to see he's 23 and that he's 93 overall. There's always guys in the league that are going to fall for that kind of stuff. Not that this guy's terrible. He's not. I mean, he's definitely very good. It's just that for me, I don't know, 6'1", and only 300 pounds. I mean, we're, we're pretty much at, like, you know, near 200. I like the big, fat, strong guys. So we can use that 93 overall as trade bait and try to get somebody else at the DT position. Uh, Sammy Hill is okay. Uh, but as you see, he's a lot bigger. 6'4", 329 and he's got the 89 strength. Now, even though left outside linebacker is pretty weak, I love the linebackers on this team. Let's just get right to it. So Colin McCarthy is 25, and he's only a 75 overall linebacker. He's only 6'1", and only 238 pounds, but I like his 84 speed and his 82 acceleration as being a guy that can be pretty serviceable until you know i mean he's got the 69 hit power but you know so that's why sometimes like i just like speed because if you have a position that all the linebackers suck and they're not really going to do anything as long as you have a little bit of speed they can be serviceable because they can hit the outside edge they can get to the ball carrier a little bit quicker regardless of any of the ratings so mccarthy can definitely uh, fill in for a little bit until we get to a draft or until we, you know, maybe trade one of those guys we talked about and shore up our middle linebacker. But we do have three middle linebacker positions, and even though we're pretty weak so far, 
it's the right outside linebacker spot that we love. Two guys that are 23 years old, both absolute monsters. One of them is 80 overall, and the other one is 65 overall. But, I mean, just look at them. 89 speed and 90 speed. You know, the 65 overrated guy has 11 points more of strength than the 80 overall guy. Both 91 acceleration. You got to like that. And then we get down to hit power, and we see they're both 86 and 87. We can progress these guys even more to just be monsters. Um, you know, they they both have decent stamina, just great wide, uh, linebackers. We can put one at left outside linebacker. We can put the other at right outside linebacker. And then, like I said, we've got Colin McCarthy, who's serviceable in the middle until we pick up another guy. Um, we've got great offensive line, great tight end, wide receivers, running back, quarterback. Now we just need to get to cornerback here. And at 26 years old, Jason McCourty, 88 overall, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Uh, Cody Sensabaugh is 20. I mean, just look, we got, we're got we young all across the board at corners. We've got a, a number one corner, and then we've got a nice speedy guy that we can use. And let's not forget one of the – he's no longer a secret in Madden, but – just as a couple years ago, Tommy Campbell, six foot three corner. He's only a 70 overall. I remember when this guy made the Titans roster and we started up a franchise and nobody knew he was on the team. And I was drafting him in every league that I possibly could. He was the steal of the draft always. Uh, and I love him. So we've got three great corners that we can use right there. Now, depending on who you are and what you like to do, maybe if you pick up another corner or something like that, I actually really like putting Tommy Campbell at safety because I love using his six foot three, 95 speed, 92 acceleration. And, you know, I mean, depends what we have at safety at the time. Michael Griffin is okay. He's got 87 speed, and I think his hit power is really nice. Actually, it's not. It's only 74. So right off the bat, I mean, we've got two corners. It kind of depends what my game plan is. Am I going to come out? With only two corners, am I going to be running a 4-3 or a 3-4? Or am I going to be running nickel? That's going to play into your decision. But, uh, you know, we're good at 1 and 2. And actually, you know what? I mean, Werner's, Werner's pretty solid. I didn't even mention his name. I apologize. Uh, I mean, he's 24. He's got 88 speed and 90. We could definitely go 1, 2, and 3 and go with Tommy Campbell at safety and place a Griffin. And then, uh, you know, Pollard, again, is... We're not going to want to touch this guy. Do not use her him. Just let him roam free. He's only 80 speed. We're not going to gain anything by trying to use her him. It's just going to lead to frustration when we don't get to the ball quick enough. It's going to be like mud in quicksand. That didn't make any sense. Our feet in mud or quicksand, whatever. But that 89 hit power and 88 tackle, just let the computer control this guy. And he's going to be a really good safety. Because he's got awareness, he's 88 overall. And we'll get Tommy Campbell as our user guy over the middle. And we'll put Zach Brown uh, at whatever position we want to user him at. And we're going to be good, man. The Tennessee Titans are a great team. Even our kicker. You know, we're just going to mention a kicker for the first time. we got a nice kicker too. So Tennessee Titans, man, my favorite team to be the last couple of years. Also a great team to start with your franchise because they're young all the way across the board. Hope you guys liked the video. Like I said, this is more of a podcast. Kind of listen to it when you're reading your paper or doing whatever it is that you want to do in the morning. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to leave your comments. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see anything in future videos, you know, just let me know and we'll get it done for you. Hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you around.